hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how we can create a simple flashlight app in flutter so without wasting any time first i will show you how i have created this ui so for ui i have in my body i have a stack and in the center i have a sized box and as a child i have this power icon so to animate this i have wrapped it inside a decorated box transition to have this animation so you can check out my decorated box transition in depth video to learn more about it and below it i have a container inside it i have again wrapped it with an animated default text uh, it is used to animate our text inside the flutter so like this so as you can see it is in off condition so we have a flashlight off text once it's on we will show it this flashlight on text okay so now let's just start with our tutorial so for it first what you need to do is go to the pub.dev and install this plugin called torch controller so once you have copied it head over to your pubspec.yaml and paste it here and now what you can do is you can save this app and if you run this pub.gave it will install in your app so after installing what you need to do is simply head over to your void main and before run app you need to write torch controller like this dot initialize like this you need to initialize it first okay now let's just save our app and head over to your app this is our stateful widget okay so inside it what we can do is you need to simply declare a final you can controller like this okay it will be your torch controller okay now let's just save our app okay so now we have our torch controller and these are the animations for our decorated pin box okay so what we can do is now go to your this ui and in the center you can wrap it with a widget call let's wrap it with a widget called gesture detector and in the on tap like this now we have on tap property for our this center now we can toggle our flashlight in this on tap so how simply we have a bool variable which is is clicked which is true okay it will use to toggle our effects so for that let's write if is clicked that is it means it's true or else like this okay so inside it first we'll toggle our animation so for that we have created our this animated controller so to con change it we need to write animated controller dot forward so we can see our animations and as well as to see our text animations i have declared a color and a font size here as a double and a color of default color is white which we can see this to toggle it we need to write like this like suppose we want to change the font size you can write font size equal to let's say a 40 okay and to change the color we can write color equal to colors dot red like this colors dot red okay so this is how we can toggle our animations and in simply else what you can write is you can write animated controller dot reverse to toggle back your animation and the font size will be let's say font size equal to 20 and color will be our default color which is colors dot white okay let's just save our app so this will toggle our animations if you can see i have clicked on it and i have toggled this animation 
okay so now what we can do is simply go ahead and write our controller dot toggle t o g g l e toggle okay and before it we can change our set of is clicked like this is clicked equal to not is clicked okay let's just save our app so you can see our animated is also changed animation is also changed okay so now simply go ahead and write set state like this let's just save our app okay so this will toggle our flashlight using controller dot toggle okay so this is how you can use this torch controller okay so let's just hot reload our app once okay so now you can see we have our app flashlight app which is in the off state once you clicked on this it will animate the flashlight is on and our flashlight is on if you click on it once again it will toggle back to this off state like this so this is how you can use this torch controller plugin to toggle your flashlight in your app so this is the simplest flashlight app we have created in flutter so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video